Hey, Frugal Tech here. How are you? And I'm going to be upgrading my 2009 Mac Pro here in just a few minutes with one of these. It's the EVGA uh, GTX 660 video card. Why did I choose this video card? Well, a couple reasons. Number one, Mac specific video cards are really expensive. The uh, Sapphire Radeon 7950 is uh, for the Mac is like 460 bucks if you can find one in stock. And then also, the um, GTX 680 Mac Edition, over $600. Being that the computer is over five years old, I was kind of on the fence about putting that kind of investment into it. But I'm doing this for under 200 bucks. Got this off of eBay. But we also need a PCIe power cable, a uh, six pin, to make it work. Got this also off of, uh, did I say eBay? eBay? I meant Amazon. Got them both off of Amazon for around 200 bucks for the pair. And this is a, a mid-range video card. Uh, I think it's got like 992 CUDA cores. It's got two gigabytes of DDR5 memory in it. And uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the upgrade. What I've got in there now, I'm rocking two GT, uh, GT120 NVIDIA cards. So you know those are really old and slow. So we'll go ahead and we're going to start by opening up the uh, video card box and then uh, getting all that ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Oops, drop my knife, my unboxing knife. Ah, the miracle of editing. One of these days, I know I'm going to slice off a finger or something like that with this unboxing knife. Yeah. We're unboxing it right now. There we go. Wrapping paper is off. And opening it up. All right. We got a piece of cardboard in here. And there it is. There is the card in bubble wrap. Don't see anything else in here. Yeah, hey, included with the video card is a free copy of Watch Dogs. So, yeah, it's like a $60 game. All right. First thing I've got to do is I'm going to have to take this cover off the Mac Pro. When we do that, lifting its lever and pulling that off, and that's it. So, the next thing I'm going to do is remove these two little screws here on the retaining bar. I've got two video cards already. Just loosen that up. And now it comes. There's another retaining bar hooked up to the fan. And there's a little button. You push that in and pull. That releases. Now all we gotta do is just pop out the video cards, the old cards. There's one, and we'll set that up to the side. And now we're going to get number two. Number two is out of there. Oh, it's a little bit dusty in there. We'll have to. Yeah. I'm actually going to keep one of these. Uh, here's the thing about getting a regular PC graphics board. Is that it doesn't have the specific ROM for a Mac. So during boot up you um, won't see the uh, boot up screen. Other than that, as I understand it, uh, OS 10 version 9 uh, Mavericks has the full drivers built in, but you have to wait until the drivers load before you see your, your login screen, which is no big thing. Now, the next thing we have to do is hook up this power cable. Hopefully that won't be too tricky. Looks like a pretty well made power cable. And the big one's going to go onto the video card. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get this in there. Hopefully that won't be too tricky. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Got that in there. Let's click down into place. So that is, and I'll worry about the dust after bed. Next thing we're going to do is 
we're going to go ahead and unwrap the video card. Ah, that new video card smell. And so now, let's take it out of its box. And there it is. And you can see it only has one six pin power connection on there. It's got some kind of plastic protection on it. There we go. Okay, we're ready to put this card now in. Yes, I believe, I believe that it's in. All we have to do now, plug in the power. Oh, I guess it would help push the retaining bar back. There we go. And plug this in. All right. Card is seated. It's in place. Oh, yeah. Now we got to do put the retaining bars back in. What I may have to do to get this bar back on is lay it down. Outside here. There we go. Definitely in. There we go. You know what? Do I want to put that back in? There we go. There we go. There's one, two. All right. There's a new video board installed, all ready to go. Actually, so see it. Uh, Yeah, so that's pretty good. It's all hooked up. Now we're ready to put her back together again. Come on. Should just go right back into play. There we go. Lock down. That's it. That is it. It is back together. Now we'll... Uh, See if it boots and we get a boot screen. Well, not a boot screen, but you know, login screen. Check back with you in just a minute. And here we go. Zoom in on that. And right there you can see the video card's showing up as an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660. So we had a great boot, everything seems fine. It's a little strange when you don't see the, uh, you know, the little Mac, you know, thing spinning up when you're booting, but hey, small price to pay to save several hundred dollars. This is going to help me get a couple more years of life out of this Mac Pro, seeing how looks like the Broadwell chipset's been delayed until next year. So save some money. Enjoy the newer and faster Mac Pro. Thanks a lot, everybody. Talk to you later.